Welcome back to Upside Down Data. Let's talk about realistic price predictions for HBAR in this bull market. So as I'm sure you are aware, HBAR, the native token of Hedera Hashgraph, has been absolutely going to the moon since the election. We are up from bottom to top roughly 270%, an absolutely crazy move, one of the best performing major crypto assets that there is. So if you're not aware, Hedera Hashgraph is a layer one protocol. That means that decentralized applications, like for example, decentralized finance, can build on top of it. And it uses a novel consensus mechanism and construction. It's actually not a blockchain, it is a Hashgraph. And that makes it very fast, very scalable, and very cheap to use. And it is a protocol that got a lot of attention in the last bull market had a very explosive move. In fact, if we just go ahead and measure this from the beginning of the explosive move to the all-time high, talking about a 2,000% move to the upside, it's quite impressive. So I think the question on a lot of people's minds is, can it do it again? How high can we go in this bull market? That's what I wanna talk about in this video. How can we get realistic price predictions or price targets for HBAR in a full-on alt-season bull market? So what I actually wanna do in this video is leverage some knowledge that we have about the crypto space to get at this answer. So we know that Bitcoin leads the crypto market. That's just the truth. If you've been around the market, you know this. Bitcoin is doing well, the rest of the crypto market will do well. Bitcoin doing poorly, the rest of the market will do poorly. Bitcoin tends to lead the direction of the crypto space. And what's useful about that is that if you know how Bitcoin's doing, you actually have a lot of information about how a given altcoin might be expected to do as well. So there are different ways you can leverage this information. I'll link to a video in the description of a previous video I made where I use machine learning techniques. But in this video, I wanna leverage something a little bit different. And that relates to how Hedera has performed relative to Bitcoin in past bull markets. So that's what I'm actually doing here on TradingView. If you didn't know, you can just take any asset and then divide it by the price of any other asset. And what that will give you is this relative performance indicator, essentially. Basically, this is the value of HBAR denominated in Bitcoin. And so really, if this is moving up, it means that HBAR is outperforming Bitcoin. If it's moving down, it means Bitcoin is outperforming HBAR. But it also means that at some given Bitcoin price, you know what the market is valuing HBAR at. So basically, if Bitcoin is moving up in value, is HBAR gonna be valued some amount that's increasing proportional to that increase in Bitcoin? That's the kind of information you can glean from this. So in this exercise I wanna do in this video, I wanna make predictions about where HBAR might end up based on both where Bitcoin might end up the cycle, then also how people might be valuing HBAR relative to Bitcoin. So we can leverage knowledge from the prior bull market to get a sense of that. So I'm gonna go ahead now and break down exactly what I did and what the results are. So to make these HBAR price predictions, what I did is I took a simulation approach. The idea is that we don't know the exact numbers that are gonna be hit the cycle. We don't know how high Bitcoin's price is gonna get, and we don't know how much people are gonna value HBAR relative to Bitcoin at a given point in time. So what we can do is we can use simulations to say, we don't know, but we have plausible ranges for these inputs. So what we're going to do is we're going to pick a range of possible Bitcoin prices through the cycle. So basically, we're going to assume that Bitcoin's price, it's going to either be at its current all-time high or some number above that will be the ultimate top. So basically, we're not assuming that the top is already in and that there's still more room for Bitcoin to move in this cycle. And so I think most people will put their price targets somewhere in this general range. And again, we don't know the exact answer. So that's why we're letting this be a range. It's a possible area that we could end up. Same thing with the HBAR Bitcoin ratio. We don't actually know exactly where in this bull market that's gonna end up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our best guess. And basically we're just gonna say, all right, we have a prior bull market to look at. Let's just imagine that that ratio ends up somewhere in where it was in the last bull market. So generally the market's gonna value HBAR somewhere like it did in the last bull market relative to Bitcoin. And now we can get some answers about where we'd expect HBAR's price to be in these different situations. So we're gonna just randomly sample from these ranges. So we're just gonna pull a random Bitcoin price between these numbers. And then we're gonna pull a random ratio from the prior bull market. And then we're gonna record what that is and what the associated HBAR price would be in those situations. 
And then we're going to do it again and again and again and just keep recording what the answers are. So all these hypothetical worlds where Bitcoin gets to some all-time high at some HBAR valuation relative to it, what are the expected HBAR prices in each of those situations? And then we can look across 5,000 of those hypothetical worlds to see where HBAR's price might be on average. So that's what I'm going to show you here. These are the overall top line results. And I want to show you the distribution and some other interesting things we can get from this. So the average predicted price for HBAR in all of those different situations is $1.20. Quite nice. I think $1 HBAR is something that people have been looking at for a long time when it comes to HBAR. This is suggesting that that is plausible if we end up going on this broader bull market and HBAR gets back to at least somewhere close to how it's been valued to Bitcoin in the past. Median price is similar, just a little bit below. And then I also put in here percentiles, which are useful to look at. So percentiles, if you're not familiar, basically if you're at the 10th percentile, it's saying that 10% of all of the simulations fell below this number, 90% fell above. So this is at 54 cents. You can think of this as more of a bearish kind of outlook here, that this is kind of on the low end. If, if we have that full on bull market, this would be on maybe the lower end that you'd expect. 90% of the time you'd expect it to be higher. And then vice versa, the 90th percentile would say that only 10% of the time would you expect it to be above a dollar 91 90 percent of the time it's going to be less than that and those are really descriptions of the distribution which i'm just going to show you directly here so you see a relatively normal distribution here with a little bit more of a fatter tail coming off to the higher end some really extreme outliers up here of how high the price could get but generally speaking in this range between you know a dollar to about a dollar 50 that's kind of the central tendency of this distribution with the number being below and a number being above. So the median would be that halfway point. So half are below that, half are above that. So of course, when we're looking at this, it really does depend on those inputs. So that's what I actually wanted to also show is that one of the things that will determine whether or not we get to this end of the distribution or this end of the distribution is a function of how high does Bitcoin actually reach in this bull market? Does it cap out closer to 100K? That'd be more of a bearish outlook. Or does it get to really high levels up closer to 300, maybe even closer to 350K, really bullish possibilities out there? And then it also depends on how does the market value HBAR relative to Bitcoin? And so this is where we're using that prior bull market to give us a rough sense of what this could look like. So basically, when you look at the colors here, closer to the deeper red is where there's a really high value the market is placing on HBAR relative to Bitcoin. Really low would be a low value of HBAR relative to Bitcoin. So I'm a data scientist by trade. And so what we would actually call this is an interaction. So in the statistical world, that's what you call this is basically the relationship between Bitcoin's price and predicted HBAR is going to depend on how much people are valuing HBAR relative to Bitcoin. I think that just makes sense. So a really high valuation of HBAR relative to Bitcoin will get you up on this higher end of this plane here, where you can get to these really high price targets. That's basically where HBAR is able to cement itself as being a valuable part of the crypto space, and that people will give it a higher value relative to Bitcoin than maybe some others. Whereas as if you're down here in this blue line, that's where the market really isn't valuing HBAR as highly relative to Bitcoin. That Bitcoin can be going on in crazy runs, but the market's not really dumping many of those profits back into HBAR. That'd be kind of the idea here. Then you see this big central tendency here. So basically in the prior bull market, there was a lot of clustering of this ratio. It hung out at a fairly similar level for a long time. And so that's what we're kind of seeing here. That in general, this is what you'd expect if we get anywhere close to where the HBAR Bitcoin ratio was last cycle. But then we have this variability that you can pay attention to. So part of this is going to come down to your outlook on HBAR. Do you think that it is an asset that can cement itself as being something that warrants a really high valuation relative to Bitcoin? And if so, you'd be looking at the higher end of this chart. You'd be looking at this kind of part of the plane here at a given Bitcoin price. If you don't think that's the case, you'd probably be looking a little bit lower down. And that's where Bitcoin could go really high and it actually would only have a marginal effect on HBAR's price. Or maybe you think, you know, somewhere in the middle, which is where you'll fall over here. But I did want to show this graph just to really show the nature of the relationship between Bitcoin price and HBAR predicted price and how that really is going to depend on where this ratio would ultimately find itself. 
So to wrap up, I just want to talk about the outlook going for where we are right now. So basically, if we get from current prices to the average predicted price from that exercise we just talked about, we're talking about almost 600% move to the upside from where we are right now, well above prior all-time highs. Now, the final thing I want to wrap up with is that as bull markets continue and as they go on longer, emotions and hype will take over. As HBAR will continue to move up here, you'll see people set their price targets higher and higher and higher. Right now, they might be talking about a dollar, two dollar HBAR. As we get up closer to those values, they'd start moving it further and further forward. And before long, you'd have people setting targets of ten dollars, twenty dollars, so on and so forth. And it's very easy to get caught up in that and let your emotions get the best of you. What I like about exercises like this is that they ground us in some sense of reality. That if we basically make the assumption that HBAR can reclaim a similar valuation versus Bitcoin like it did in the last cycle, then we now know what is a rough estimate or a rough idea of where it could reach in that type of environment. And it's basically, you can think of it as a goalpost. We may not get there, but if we do, then it's really worth thinking about, okay, should we be abandoning that reality and thinking that something has changed so much that it's worth setting our price targets way higher or is it likely that that's probably getting closer to the top? And I just like to have those touch points. Let's just anchor ourselves on something that's based on actual data and not just hype and emotions. And there are, of course, going to be a lot of things that influence how this all plays out. But I think this is one way that we can get at least a reasonable expectation of what might be possible if HBAR is able to reclaim some of its former glory. All right, if you like the content, or subscribe to the channel, give the video a like, and follow us over at X. A lot of updates for our models and more over there. And you can also go to our website, linked in the description, PlarityDigital.io, where we have live data from our risk models, our forecast models, and more over there.